Upright rows are not a bad exercise. In fact, they are a pretty good exercise that build all three heads of your shoulder, your upper back, your yoke, and your grip if you use them strapless. In addition to that, they have the really cool benefit of being an exercise that I used personally when I was having shoulder discomfort to make my shoulders feel better. We're also gonna address what's honestly a super annoying and super common talking point that says basically that certain postures, positions, or forms that you use are just inherently dangerous. I believe the exact opposite. I think a gradual introduction to any range of motion that isn't jamming joints on joints is gonna be something that makes you more well-rounded and can be the potential thing that saves you from nagging pains and discomforts. Good. The easiest point to refute is the one that they cite the most often. Raising your shoulder while also internally rotating it is inherently bad for your shoulders, or so they say. What's Yamamoto doing right there? It's a nonsense point. So weightlifters spend an extended period of their time with a lot larger loads than you would use on an upright row in that exact position raising their shoulders, internally rotating. A good rule of thumb, with any extended range of motion exercise or with a movement pattern that you have not done before, if you can do it with no load, with no pain, you can add five pounds and the same thing is gonna be true. It's not gonna hurt and so on and so on. It's about that gradual introduction to that new range of motion or that new movement pattern and not throwing on a plate per side and then trying to do it that way. So how do you make upright rows the most comfortable that they could possibly be? You move in the scapular plane. And that's just the giga brain term for you move in the direction of your scapula. When you move and orient your elbows in that scapular plane, number one, it just lets you use your shoulders, your upper back better, more efficiently. You get a better mind muscle connection and a better contraction. So it's just better for bodybuilding. And two, it makes sure that you don't jam joints on joints. You're moving your scaps, in your shoulders, which attach into your scapula in the direction that they should be moving in. That isn't bad for your joints. Jamming joints on joints is bad for your joints. Don't jam joints on joints. Something else that may be helpful for you to get in the scapular plane is that you just hinge a little bit. So just like on a stiff leg deadlift, you push your butt back a little bit so that your torso is at an angle and it just tends to line things up where they need to be. Upright rows are just one cool exercise that you can include in a well-rounded strength and conditioning program to build your shoulders, your rear delts, and just have overall good shoulder health. If you want to learn how to build big shoulders, I have a video coming soon for that. Those that are returning to the channel know that I have the final answer series where I show you guys some basic biomechanics. Check out my video on how to build a back. That's going to be really helpful in you know, maintaining good shoulder health as well. If you have any questions about this video, please leave them down below. Try these things out. See if they work for you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.